So I was asked if I could make a video about knife care or how to um, sharpen and uh, maintain a bushcraft knife. So that's what I'm going to show you uh, in this video. Now a bushcraft knife will come in uh, different shapes and sizes and everyone has his or her favorite uh, but generally they have uh, a shape like this um, and this is this is a tbs bore um, it's a full time uh, high carbon steel knife now on a knife with uh, a scandi grind there is no secondary bevel that means that there is only one angle here if you can see that there's no secondary bevel so what you do is you use a normal whetstone like this put some water on it or oil I have put a little bit of water on it now and you can actually just place it on the bevel and you will you will feel when it's flush or uh, when it's just lying on this this area here okay the bevel this flat area is where you want your stone to be placed okay so <clears throat> Once you place it there, you can just start and I always do this uh, when I've been out in the woods, so my knives are always sharp, so I use a fine stone and uh, I don't need, you know, basically, I think this is actually unnecessary now, but just for demonstration, you, I like these circular motions and I never use force, I just follow the, this flat area around here. And be cautious with um, and you're holding this, of course, so you don't want to cut yourself. Turn it around. You find where it's flush with uh, the flat area. And uh, just keep it lying there while you're moving it around. So, well, that's not all, but that's all with the sharpening stone. Um, you'll actually be able to see it if you uh, if you flip it over a little bit, then it will you will see a line. I'll show you. Yeah, there's a line here because I intentionally flipping it over a little bit so that I don't it's not flush anymore with the, the bevel then this gray dust will will uh, make a line there <clears throat> okay Okay, so when you have uh, sharpened your knife, you can move on to stropping it. Uh, this is my belt. It's a leather belt, and I have the, um, the uh, what, 
what's the word, coarser inner side up, not the one with the, the outer side. And uh, you basically, you just pull your knife across. And again, you don't need to use a lot of force. Um, what you're doing here is you're removing uh, the burr or the when you sharpen your knife with a stone um, there will be a little bit a microscopic um, you push the steel over to the other side of the bevel even I mean it's microscopic you can't see it but it's this makes the knife sharper because it removes that microscopic burr and uh, actually if you do this every time you've used a knife for a little while um, you don't have to sharpen the knife at all some say I always sharpen my knife because I I like to do it it's it's a kind of a meditation to me and also of course you can't you can't go that way you can on a, on a sharpening stone of course um, when you have a sharpening stone on your workbench at home you typically move that way but um, that would ruin your belt so we go this way And I like to finish with uh, some gun oil. You don't need much. It makes a very good and manly deodorant, this gun oil. No, just kidding. That's how you maintain your uh, bushcraft now. Now I should add that you need uh, to put some uh, linseed oil, boiled linseed oil on your handle if it's a wooden handle from time to time especially on this one it's uh, uh, I put these scales on myself and it's uh, it's actually bog oak that's several thousand years old so I want to keep it preserved mm -hmm. 